This week we are going to start off with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is epidemics. So before starting off with this chapter I would like to uh, I would like all of you to recall what we studied in week 7 the cascading behavior in networks. So we have looked at how ideas, behaviors and actions spread on a network. We have looked at people who are connected with the help of a network and then we looked at how these ideas, behaviors and actions spread between these people and we have talked about a number of ideas and behaviors. So let me recall some of the examples. We talked about the sport shoes example where one of my friend who uh, is in a healthcare industry and he had come up with his own brand new technology of sport shoes and he wanted me to advertise his sport shoes which I advertised to some people and uh, some people means some of my friends and they advertised it to some of their friends and so on there was this cascade of sport shoes on this network and then we have looked at smoking as a behavior is contagious one of my friend could be smoking and when i look at this uh, and when i look at my friend i could feel like smoking is cool and i might also start smoking which leads to a cascade of smoking on the network and then obesity obesity is contagious we have also stated this in the preliminary video it doesn't appear much like obesity is contagious obesity seems to be quite an individualistic behavior but actually not there is a very interesting piece of research which says that if your friend is obese your chances of becoming obese increases by 45% if your friend's friend is obese still your chances of becoming obese increases by 25% If your friend's friend's friend is obese still your chances of becoming obese increases by 12% and it's only when you reach to a friend's 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 friend that there is no longer a correlation between that guy's body weight and your body weight all in all obesity is also a behavior which spreads on our network similar to obesity depression and happiness are also the behaviors which spread on our network and uh, yet another product which can spread on a network is ipad i basically wanted to recap that there are these ideas behaviors and actions which can spread on our social networks and we have studied all of these in our week 7 which is cascading behavior in networks and most of these behaviors which are spreading are known as social contagion why social contagion contagion is a word which is generally used for the spreading of a contagious disease let's say flu measles chicken pox etc but here contagion refers to something which spreads from person to person and what is spreading here is a social behavior social norm hence the term social contagion so we have talked in detail about social contagion in week 7 what we are going to do in this chapter is we are removing this word social and we are going to talk just about contagion that is an actual contagion a real contagion and what is an actual and real contagion is nothing but a contagious disease a contagious disease like flu so in this chapter we are going to see how we can model the spreading of contagious diseases on our networks now one question is why is it even important why the modeling of contagious diseases is important and the answer i have actually flashed it on the screen and the answer is it helps us in fighting epidemics whenever a contagion is spreading on a network and it spreads way too much way too much means it infects a lot of people almost everybody in the world so we say that it has become an epidemic so these contagious diseases can become epidemics over time and such epidemics they need to be controlled we we can't afford to have epidemics world has suffered from dangerous epidemics from time to time and all of us know about various deadly epidemics for example ebola the most recent one swine flu 
and then uh, black death and the, there is a large number you can search on google or wikipedia uh, the world has suffered from a lot of epidemics throughout the history so we are going to see in this chapter how can we model this spreading of contagious diseases but now again a question shouldn't it be biologists who should be studying how these contagious diseases spread or shouldn't it be epidemiologists or rather medical doctors do social network scientists have much to offer there what will social network scientists have to what they will be having to say about the spreading of contagious diseases can they even work in this direction and the answer is a big yes why the answer is a big yes is actually very simple the answer is like anything these contagious diseases they spread on a network so as you can see here i have a network and here is this one node and this node can infect this node which can infect this node and so on so our world can be modeled like this network and our contagious disease is actually spreading on this network which is shown here so let's say a contagious disease starts spreading from here so this person gets infected the first and then it makes its way through this network but wait now doesn't uh, do you notice something isn't it exactly like the spread of an idea an idea also spreads the similar way there is a node uh, from where a new idea starts and then it looks at its neighbors and some of its neighbors adopt this idea and similarly this idea travels or rather diffuses through this network so it seems like spreading of a disease and spreading of an idea they are the same things looks like spread of an idea is same as the spread of a disease but the answer is no they are two different processes why two different processes the first reason is no choice when we talk about a, an idea which is spreading let's say there is a song and my friend hears this song why this colavari d and he likes it very much and next day he tells me about it i also listen to this song like it very much i adopt this song do you see there is a choice here my friend told me about this song i like this song and i adopted this song so well there is a choice when we talk about the spreading of an idea but let's say i'm talking about the spreading of a disease this time instead of a song my friend has come to me with a flu so he has this flu and he sneezes on my face and now this flu virus comes and it's entering my body can i first of all i'll not know that this flu virus is entering in my body but still let's say i know this so can i say that i do not like this flu virus i'm not going to take it while in the case of a song you have the choice to say this is a bad song i do not like it but you are you can you can't do the uh, do this in the case of a disease so there is no choice if the disease has to infect you it will infect you there is no way out so you have less so far control over the spreading of a disease as compared to the spreading of an idea the second difference is the invisibility of the process what is invisibility of the process i'll tell you a small anecdote this was when i was in my fourth standard so here is me and i am in my fourth standard and there are three people in my family my mom my dad and my brother and all of these three people they suffered from eye flu so eye flu was spreading that time and all of uh, these three family members of mine they suffered from this eye flu and now i can catch eye flu from any of these three right and the very next day i also catch eye flu so i have caught this eye flu here but i do not know which is the person out of these three who has infected me with this eye flu till today i do not know so the spreading of a disease is quite an invisible process as compared to the spreading of an idea where you might have a very clear clue of which is the person from whom you have adopted the idea from but it is very difficult to say which is the person from whom you have adopted a disease hence we need different model for the spreading of an idea which we have looked at before and now 
we need a different model when we want to talk about the spreading of a disease because the spreading of a disease is more of a random process as compared to the spreading of an idea and we'll explore it further.